Hi guys, so I'm here again with the new issue someone facing. So this anonymous guy on forum of Unreal Engine facing an issue. Actually, he is spawning some uh, a skeleton match with animation in Niagara Particle using component render. And what issues he's facing first is his ground is not like a flat. It's uneven. It's a, it's a landscape. So he wants them to align with that ground. And the second thing he want to offset the animation randomly so they should not like behave same at the same time so two things he has these two points so here's my take on it this is this may not be the best way to do this but this is what comes in my mind first so let's use the animation so i choose this jump animation so when i will offset they will randomly jump and it will be more easy to check i have already downloaded it so i will just import it here in the unreal engine and from download export it time okay and i'll just take this uh, this ma uh, map Let's make the light a little darker and I don't want this gameplay. Okay. So here's my, let me dock it. Yeah. So here's my animation. If I just drag it here and if I just simulate, I'm not playing. So it will just keep animating this loop because loop is thick here. So let's use it in the particle system. Let me save all. Oh, I don't want to save the map. So just save these. So I'll just right click, take a Niagara. I'll just go with this empty and let's call it NS Crowd. And in here, I just want to add an emitter. So I will just take the fountain. So we have this fountain okay so what i need i don't want these uh, modules and instead of spawn rate i'll use grid spawn in grid and then fix it you will have this module just move it down i don't want that on z uh, so i'll just make this zero and i want that to just spawn once and leave forever so now we have these particles right and you can just make some offset so like 100 100 100 so there will be some gap although you can reduce the particles for now you can just maybe it's five and five here so total 25 then in instead of this you need something else let it be here and add one more render that is component render after taking this you can choose from here component type skeletal skeleton mesh after this you need to plug in your skeleton mesh and then animation so first i'll just click on this skeleton mesh and just click here and you can see we have some more particles but it is already uh, it is only visible here because the limit is 15 i will make it 25 so it will cover all emitters all particles sorry after this we need animation so i will just uh, open this and here we will use this animation so i'll just click here and they are now animating and now they are animating all together so let me just save it first and just drag it here oh, not this thing particle okay and when i'll play they are animating so first thing if you want to offset because you can see if i just put it on zero they are going under the ground you can actually like these are particles you can do anything with it i just you can offset it from here 20 so they will little up you can offset it 50. so the, this is just offsetting all at the same height you can randomize it you can randomize it like 0 to 50. So some will be up some will be down but if your ground is not like flat and you want to align with that you can do that but first let's do it and do another thing so i'll just make it zero and i'll just move it little up okay 
first let's do some randomness so they are all facing the same side so first i will randomize the rotation so in the skeleton mesh go down and in the transformation you can see location is connected with the position and scale is connected with the particle scale but the rotation is not connected and you can just rotate here you can see they are now facing this side and if you want randomness what you can do just take a initial mesh orientation don't use randomness here because this is all three axes randomize on z axis only minus one to one and then link with it so i will just use initial rotation so now they are facing random rotation and now we just need to uh, change the animation offset so if you'll go up and there is a initial position you can offset but you cannot link it with anything and you cannot randomize it so there is another way see there is a limited option here but if you here type play you will see now you have a play rate option and now you can make it slow or faster but if you will search here global you will have oh, spelling is a mistake global you will have one more option that is global animation rate and you can also link it with anything so but this will not just offset the animation it will make the animation faster or slower but you can use it just to randomize a little bit so you can make a separate parameter here to link it but you can link it with anything so like if i link it with life and see because the life is random you can make it even more random and now see they are jumping randomly because some are fast some are slow so this is the option i just found but i don't think this is the best way and you can use it but this is just i found and maybe it is it can be useful don't make it too random here you can go to 0.8 and 1.2 so it will be almost the same speed but still you will get the randomness right so i'll just make the one and two for now so we got the randomness now we need a a, a different ground for that just take this first open world map and here you will have some mountains there you can see so i'll just go there quickly just make your camera speed a little faster not that faster now you can make it slow and i think i will go here on this peak okay and i want my particle here so i'll just drag this particle here and let's make the area a little bigger so in the grid location let's make it 200 200 200 and make these like 10 and 10 and now we need more particles let's just make it 200 just to see okay so we are now covering this part and we want this little bit here little bit here and little up so now you can see some are in the air some are colliding some are in intersecting so what you can do if i play they will be all here because my gizmo is there but i want them to snap on the ground so for now you can do one thing and you can actually uh, take a gravity and just take the collision but you need to change something in the collision first is don't bounce them make the friction too high and if i now play they will all snap with the ground and they are randomly facing and they have the random offset in the animation so this is what i what i can do for now but if i'll find a better way to control these things because this is not i think good way to do this but yeah you can see the output if you just want the output you want to render out the video you can use it if you want it to like in a real time in a game then i think you need to find a good way or i'll find a good way and make another video so i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning Bye bye